In this video, I'll show you how to set up and render a file on uh, the uh, Amazon Elastic Compute service. First of all, you want to make sure that your Blender file is exactly as you want it. So set the samples and the final resolution that you want. Keep in mind that any compositing will be baked into the final render. So make sure to test accordingly. You will also want to pack all the external data into the blend file, that is the textures and environment maps. Once this is done, you should get an account with Amazon. If you have shopped with them before, you already have everything you need. Once you're there, you can choose the EC2 service, generate a private key that you will use and this will automatically download a key file to your computer. If you're using Windows, you will also need to download PuTTY. You can go to PuTTY.org. This is a free secure shell client for Windows machines. And you will also need to use the PuTTY gen file to convert the Amazon key to a suitable format. Once you have all this set up, you just click on instances and launch an instance. I personally use Ubuntu. You can start uh, with the micro instance, which is free for the first year. So if you just want to test out the system, it's completely free. Otherwise, if you want to spend a couple of bucks, you can choose the best compute optimized instance, which has 32 virtual cores. You can then review the settings Keep in mind that you want to keep a secure shell port open and you can launch the instance. You choose the key that you downloaded earlier and you can launch the instance right away. You can then go to the instance dashboard and copy the public DNS address. Once you have that, I have prepared a file with all the instructions that I'll have to type into the shell so I save some time. You'll find a link to this in the description. You can replace the placeholder, it's Amazon in this case, with the address, like so. And then open two terminals. In the first one, you will connect to the Amazon instance. Choose yes. This is just a warning. Once you're logged into the server, you will need to upgrade the package manager and install blender and once it's done you can copy the file to the home folder of the server once that's done you can confirm that the file is there and it is indeed and you can then proceed with rendering by pasting the command into the terminal Okay, we're done rendering. Uh, it threw some warnings, but I don't think it's that important. Uh, at this point, we just need to copy the image from the server to our local machine. So we just copy the last command and it's done. At this point, we can uh, terminate our instance, select the instance actions, uh, instance state terminate and confirm and uh, you should also verify that the volumes are unmounted after the instance is terminated as you may be paying for these i'm not sure uh, in all it took about one hour let's see what the final result is it looks good uh, if we zoom into the full resolution you will see that it's uh, 2560 by 1440 that's uh, twice the resolution of 720 video which means that you could realistically render about four frames of video for a couple bucks remember that you could also launch more instances and at the same price per second you could have it render even faster